Kevin, no, 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 Kevin. Mele do it. Mele do it. Beta. <laughs> Non, 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 mets les doigts, mets les doigts, Spetta. Macalouf. Macalouf. Oh, Walter, look, these adorable little freaks are headed to Orlando too. You're going to Villancon, aren't you? Villancon. I'm gonna get all my favorite villains to sign my magazine. Scarlet Overkill! If I was a minion, that's who I'd want to work for! Yeah! 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 God, God, God. Welcome to Villain Time, the biggest gathering of criminals anywhere. Any evil talents? Not bad! What about you? Any evil talents? Hello! La la la, la la la! Eh? That's not evil or a talent. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, the super villain we've all been waiting for, Scarlet Overkill! Doesn't it feel so good to be bad? Dreams come true. Respect. Power. Banana. Banana. Wow, these cats are pumped. Maybe I'll settle them down with a bedtime story. Bedtime party? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The pigs encountered a big, bad wolf who hired the three pigs to come work for her. One day, the pigs did something very stupid. So the wolf huffed and puffed, and she blew them off the face of the earth! The end. Everybody! Villain con? Villain con? That is just brilliant. I can't believe, one, that nobody else has come up with that, and two, that Illumination Entertainment was able to keep this idea under wraps for so long. I mean, imagine how they must have felt. They must have been like, wait for it, wait for it, bam, villain con card played. The rest of the summer movie season for 2015 can just go home. Now, of course, that's going a bit too far, perhaps, but I think that while Minions was a formidable opponent at the box office beforehand, I think now they just up the ante even more. And I think the movies that surround it, in terms of the release schedule, should be nervous. It comes out right after the 4th of July weekend, at least here in the United States, uh, after Magic Mike XXL and uh, Terminator Genesis. I think it's going to destroy Terminator Genesis at the box office. It's going to really dominate July, because it by... Having a villain con, it not only kind of re-energizes the whole villain idea, I mean, I think a number of us were like, well, how can you replace Gru? What's the storyline going to be? Why would you replace Gru? Gru always is kind of underestimated in terms of his popularity, but I think if you actually, uh, you know, pay attention to Despicable Me fans, they like Gru. I see a number of people cosplaying as Gru. Whenever I talk about it here, people often in the comments are like, hey, I like the Minions, but I also really like Gru. Uh, but I think that this this way to introduce Scarlet Overkill, and also perhaps that she's not so nice, whereas Gru deep down is very nice, uh, differentiates her enough to warrant this movie revolving around her. Also, on a side note, how cute was it when that minion made that teddy bear dance at the end of the table? I mean, I would have hired him on the spot. I mean, it might not be that evil, but, you know, every even an evil villain needs some downtime and a little teddy bear dance. I mean, this this movie looks like it just has it all and i'm just so impressed and i love its i love its humor that just is kind of all over the place uh, but it works for them because that's how the minions kind of think and act also speaking of all over the place who doesn't love that uh kind of like um you know uh, nod to stop motion animation with the dream sequence that also is very very impressive but you know this i continue to believe and you know in morning movie news i talked about i thought that the the design for Scarlet Overkill is really smart because it's a, an international design that I think would be at home in many countries. Uh, but the idea of villain con, etc., this is just a really business savvy uh, company over at Illumination Entertainment. And DreamWorks Animation, by the way, 
could take some notes as to how not only to do a good job creatively, but to really think of the you know the business side of the of the of the film filmmaking and how to make sure that you succeed there as well. So I love it. Uh, I'm just uh, totally enamored with it, and I'm curious what you guys think. Is this something that you're excited about? Do you think Villain Con is a good idea? What do you think of Scarlet Overkill over Gru? And do you think the other movies should be afraid? All right, that's my review of the Despicable Me, uh, or the Minions, I'm sorry, the spinoff of Despicable Me, or actually the prequel. That's my review of their second trailer. Uh, leave your thoughts down below, and you can check out some more episodes right now.